Hey guys, Jim Stargazer again. Uh, so I'm making this next video after uh, my ESL introduction uh, for my home theater update. So it came finally. I got the uh, the Martin Logan Focus C Easy SL C18 Masterpiece Series Center Channel. Uh, so this guy is a beast. Okay, so this is a guy. This guy is a beast. This uh, Focus my uh, Martin Logan Focus ESLC18 Dark Cherry uh, to match the these guys here, the ESL9s. So uh, I'm a pretty strong guy. Um, I mean, I, I bring I'm bringing up this stuff on up, this stuff up the stairs myself. The subwoofers. I carried the ESL9 before uh, off the truck and into my um, uh, front porch by myself. This guy was heavy. It was so heavy. Uh, for a center channel uh, that actually needs someone's help to bring it up. Um, so like for example, <laughs> I got this little little uh, center channel here, this infinity. I mean we could pick this up. You could pick this up with one finger. This guy we needed two people. so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start um, unboxing it for you guys and show you what it looks like and then we'll get it out and we'll start connecting it. Yeah, super excited about this one guys. This is a really nice center channel. it's gonna sync perfectly with the ESL knives and the, the uh, FX2s. So give me a second while I get my knife. All right guys, so it looks like it's meant to be unboxed straight up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting, um, start cutting the sides uh, and then getting each side ready. It looks like that's how, that, how, that's, okay, that's how you unbox it. Um, it's not unboxed side to side. So, ah. oh. yeah, it's pretty big figure. Yeah, super excited about this one. All right, so then we'll pick it up. Oh. You guys can see what I'm doing, I'm trying to find a place I can put my guy. <laughs> but hang on, let me um, let me go ahead and um, bring and, and unbox and bring it out so you guys can see. Okay, that was just a first layer. It's a double box, guys. So uh, the speaker coming with the second uh, box on top. You gotta take that box off first. Then this one is uh, is open from top like normal. You guys, so you can see. Okay, so here's the inside. So, oh, this is the wall mounts. You got the wall mounts here. Four wall mounts. Flat mount angle up. You have four for that. Okay, and then we got. So this is the mounting kit right here. Um, I was gonna put it on the wall, but I, my wife changed my, my mind. She wants to put it on on this table here, even though the wire is gonna be visible. But this what this is. This is the wall mount for the connect to the speaker. And then these, well, I mean, that's the wall mount right there. Uh, and then these are the hooks that go onto the speaker that hook onto that wall mount. So let me be a little clearer. Um, then we got a uh, power cord, looks like, and for the panel, most likely, just like the ESO9, it's gonna be powered. Yep, it's gonna be powered to charge the um, uh, the panel. So we got that. Okay. Let's open this guy up. Yeah. And there it is. So yeah, give me a second, guys. Let me uh, let me bring it out. Here. I think you guys can get entertained with me picking it up and <laughs> hurting myself. Oh, here's a manual too. Uh, a couple bolts. So here's let me show you the manual. The manual. Got the manual. The manual. Looks like a lanyard here. Some some lanyard and a couple bolts. We'll see what they're for. Uh, 
most likely they're for uh, mounting the brackets on the unit so that way we can wall mount it if I was gonna wall mount it so yeah this, this thing is a good four feet long Jeez, that's massive. And the other one is even bigger than this, the Illusion. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so let me get that out so you guys can see me bringing this guy out. <sighs> yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, which I should have done to begin with? Turn it over, put it back on. What you do, guys, Put it like this and then roll it over like this so you don't have to lift it out of the box there you go you just roll it over like this there we go that way you can just take the box off of it and it's out there we go smart way of doing it <laughs> there it is all right let me unwrap it here and i show you guys what it looks like Uh, let me roll it over one more time to get the top piece off. Perfect. Let me put it back in the middle. All right, get this wrapper off. Yep, matches the ESO knives. All right, guys. This is a four foot center channel. <laughs> wow. Four foot center channel. Let's take a look at it. All right, we got dual six and a half inch aluminum mid ranges. Um, then we have, uh, I mean, I, I, I believe they're even deeper than that. I think this guy goes down to like a 49 Hertz, I believe, or I believe it's 49, I have to look it up. Okay, so it goes down pretty deep. Um, and then we got the folded motion tweeter inside. Um, and then of course, uh, the electrostat uh, across the front so yeah guys this is gonna be a great sounding product great sounding uh, here let me go over there let me turn turn it around I'm being lazy not getting up <laughs> all right when you get to my age then you guys be lazy too before leaving the Mar Logan factory, this project was subject to a final sonic and visual quality check by this guy. Okay, so, all right. So this guy has some really nice binding posts too. Um, yeah, so it's got some really nice binding posts. It's got the power for that. Like I said, it's gotta be charged. Uh, the, 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 the panel has to be charged. And then the switch, to either say whether it's on wall or off wall to change the base response so yeah that's the bad guys yeah nice looking subwoofer i mean <laughs> subwoofer subwoofers are in my brain nice looking center channel four foot center channel so yeah so let me get this cleared out guys over here and i'll get it up on there and we'll connect it and then uh, we'll get some uh, some some um, uh, arc settings on it. All right, give me a second. Hey guys, so yeah, so um, just wanted to show you guys. Um, so um, I'm setting up the speaker. I got it. I just picked it up, and I put it on top of this uh, entertainment center. And if you look, see how big this thing is, guys, this entertainment center is for a 65 inch TV, right? This is a 77 inch TV above it OLED. Look at how big this, look how big this mid, the center channel is. It is, it is almost as big as this table and only like a few inches off from the, this, this 77 inch OLED. That's how big this thing is guys. It's huge. Um, but so I just want to say, show you that they've sent, uh, this is the power cord. Um, like I said, it needs to be charged, but they also, what's nice is they gave an extension because for like, for example, mine, I moved the TV up so I don't have the power here um, and I have a power for the subwoofers on each side um, but I can run the, um, the the power cord up through the uh, raceway the raceway and hook it up to the power up there so that's nice 
Um, I also got the banana clips. I just went went ahead and put them together on the wire coming from the wall. So if it's it, it comes it goes perfectly fine perfect there. Yeah. Sorry, get my fingers out of there. But it goes in perfect. Fits right in. Oh, let me make sure it's tight. Let me get back out. It fits right in. See? And then the power red. And it fits right in with banana clips. Um, and then the switch, I put the switch for off wall. And then I gotta plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, then I'm gonna show you guys. You won't be able to hear the quality of it, but you'll get the idea when I play something on it. So give me a minute, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got the Martin Logan sensor channel up. Uh, I started making a bunch of popping noises when I connected it. I was looking it up. It looks like that um, the dust and everything is in there. Um, so I went and blew it out. It seems fine now. It looks like if you get some debris inside dust, um, it'll conflict with the, the electrostat. So it looks like we got to dust it every so often just to make sure. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, this is the, the sender channel, four feet wide, like I said, dual 6.5 inch, aluminum mid-ranges. It's got the full electrostat from end to end, from end to end, just like this guy has so tall. This has from end to end, a full electrostat. It's got a folded motion tweeter, um, which it doesn't even need a folded motion tweeter. So they added the, fo the folded motion tweeter to add a little bit more um, uh, uh, direct imaging just like uh, like I was saying for these guys here because they got the photo motion tweeter uh, like like these guys it gives a little bit brighter a little bit brighter sound that's what they're doing with the what looks like they're doing with the sensor channel they're adding in that little bit brighter sound for the movies um, because it doesn't need it it's got the full panel on here it would be like adding a it would be like adding a folded motion tweeter to this panel it doesn't need it so they just added that to make it more, uh, so make it brighter. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I was listening to it a minute ago, guys. It is fantastic. Uh, it it like it beams the sound to you just like, just like uh, the ESL9. So the in in yeah, it's fantastic, guys. Um, I'm really surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and do some demos. So I'm gonna put on like Jurassic, Jurassic, and I'm gonna put on. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like underwater, um, some of my favorite scenes, you know, for subwoofers. So we'll see how good it can take it. And also, uh, like play, uh, Ready Player One has some really cool racing scene with glass and everything. So we're gonna we're gonna put those on. So give me a second. This is the scene where the, I forgot the name of the dinosaur all of a sudden, but where he's hidden and he comes out and starts killing everybody. What is that? That's her tracking implant. She clawed it out. How would it know to do that? She remembered where they put it in. Making a video and watching the movie, <laughs> but yeah, guys, this this uh, sensor channel is incredible. It just beams the sound to you. 
crystal clear every little thing you're hearing every motion the growl everything yeah there's one badass center channel guys yeah just thought I'd share hi guys thanks for watching the video um, I'm gonna go ahead and start uploading the video uh, yeah that's a badass center channel guys I was watching it uh, last night I was watching a move a couple movies on it um, and yeah it's it's bad it just it's so crystal clear the dialogue it comes straight to you um, I got like I said I got this in a little infinity center channel that I had this is the one I had I had a this is a R, infinity R C253 um, I also had the R263 which is bigger than that one but still there's no comparison guys I mean there's a reason why <laughs> this is this center channel is five thousand dollars uh, almost 4,800 you know I didn't pay that much I got a much better deal but um, that's what that's what it costs MSRP so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like and subscribe I'm gonna go ahead and start making some unboxing videos I already unboxed one of these